You're watching the Weiss channel. Da 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 da. Thank you. We are doing solving by completing the square today. What? Well, so do you remember? Do you remember? Do you <laughs> I digress. All right. Factoring. Factoring. What was that? That was where we had two sets of parentheses. X and X. What times what makes 77? That added together makes 18. 11 times 7, right? 11 times 7 is 77, and 11 plus 7 is 18, right? And so then what did we do? We said x plus 11 equals 0. We said x plus 7 equals 0. You minus 11 to both sides, you minus 7 to both sides, and you get x equals negative 11 or x equals negative 7. Two answers, okay? So what we're doing today is called complete the square because factoring doesn't always work. Factoring did work on this one, but I'm going to show you how you would do completing the square with this particular one, all right? In order to complete the square, here's what you have to do. You have to make some room. I'm going to get rid of the plus 77. I'm going to minus 77 from both sides. And I'm going to have x squared plus 18x equals negative 77. Okay? So now, here's what you do. You take half of this number and square it. What's half? of 18. <coughs> 9. Square it. What's 9 times 9? 81. So we plus 81. Whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other. Whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other. Why did you start that? Don't know. Like it just, like you just started jumping. That's it. It's happening. I don't know why I started it. Now I'm going to factor. Okay. What times what makes 81 that added together makes 18? Would you agree 9 plus 9, right? So this is, would you agree x plus 9 squared? Oh! What we've done is we've made a square. This, it's always going to be the same number, always. So it's always going to be x plus 9, x plus 9, or whatever, x plus 4, x plus 4. It's always going to be this number twice. And that rhymes with twice. <laughs> equals, thank you, equals 4, yes? And the idea is now we take the square root. We're going to take the square root because we completed a square. We completed a square so we can take the square root, which makes this easy now because the square root of x plus 9 squared is just x plus 9. Right? Okay. And the square root of 4 is 2, right? Plus or minus 2, right? So it's plus or minus 2, which means x plus 9 equals 2, or x plus 9 equals negative 2. So minus 9 to both sides, minus 9 to both sides, and you get x equals negative 7, or x equals negative 11. 
which is the same answer we got here, right? Okay. Now, here's this way is just longer, except. None of the problems I've given you are going to have a whole number answer. What? Here's what I mean. All, you're only going to need to get this far. I'm going to show you what I mean right now. Okay? First, I'm going to get rid of this minus 12, which means I'm going to add 12 to both sides. May I just write k squared? plus 6k equals 12. Is everyone okay with that move? All right. So now what's half of 6? Square it. 3 squared is 9, right? So I'm going to add 9. I'm going to add 9, okay? Which means I have x plus 3 squared, right? Everyone okay with that? Equals 21, right? So now I'm pretty much done because I'm going to take the square root, okay? And I get x plus 3 equals plus or minus square root 21 is over here, remember the square root of 4, that was a perfect square, right? Because 2 times 2 is 4. Is 21 a perfect square? No. So we just leave it. We just leave it. Meaning, I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. Minus 3, minus 3. And my answer is just x equals negative 3 plus or minus square root 21. It's this big ugly mess, but that's it. Just leave it like that. You, you don't have to go through this whole mess. All right, you just leave it like this. Okay? Let's do another one. I know. Oh. All right. Over here, may I say m squared plus 14m equals 92? Everyone okay there? Half of this, 7 squared is 49, plus 49. Whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other. Plus 49, okay? What's this? This is m plus 7 squared, right? Equals, what's 92 plus 49? Oh goodness, 92, 49, 141. Is 141 a perfect square? No, I'm not giving you any problems that come up with a perfect square. Because if it was a perfect square, I would just tell you to factor it. I wouldn't tell you to, to, to do all this, okay? So here's 141. What do we do to both sides? We're gonna take the square root. Okay, and we're practically done here. M plus seven equals plus or minus square root 141. Can I actually skip this step, meaning do I have to write minus 7, minus 7 to both sides, or can I just say m equals negative 7 plus or minus square root 141? Are you okay with that, or should I write this step in here? Is this okay? Right? Be what? So if you wrote this step in, like the minus 3, minus it's just there, right? You just write it, yeah. right? Do you see what I'm saying? What happens to the other side? Nothing? Well, here, this is the other side, right? Look, here's the plus 3 on this side. It just winds up on the other side of the equal sign, right? You have 
two terms now. Go ahead. Right, it's, it's, it's here. Here's the equal sign, right? The whole side is here. You see what I'm saying? Okay. It's x equals all this mess. Here, m equals all this mess. Are you okay? Okay. Over here, I'm going to say x squared plus 8x equals 28. Half of 8. By the way, you may even notice I was nice to give you numbers here that are even. If this were like a 7, ew, right? I'd have to do like 3.5, <laughs> not 1, right? I'm going to give you ones that are just even. I don't need you to worry about odd ones. That's yucky, okay? Half of 8 is 4. Squared is 16. Add 16. Whatever you do to one side, you got to do the other. Okay? So what have we done here? We've made x plus, oh, look at me. 4 squared equals 28 plus 16. 44. Is 44 a perfect square? No. Now, I will tell you this. I'm going to take the square root. Okay? And you get x plus 4 equals plus or minus square root 44. Now, here's what I'm not going to ask you to do. I'm not going to ask you to simplify. What do you mean simplify, Weiss? I taught you to simplify this. Meaning what perfect square goes into 44? Oh, 4. This is square root of 4, square root of 11. What's the square root of 4? 2. This is 2, square root of 11. I'm not going to ask you to do that. My whole purpose today is I want to see you how to, I want to see you get to this point here. Okay? So, lovey, I'm going to actually ask you to go ahead and give me my answer. Just like this was x equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 21. Here's m equals negative 7 plus or minus. Here's going to be x equals negative 4. Good. Square root 44. Very good. Exactly. Okay? Very good. Okay. I want to do one more example just to confirm we're getting this. Okay? I'm going to say x squared minus 6x equals 15. By the way, does it matter if this is a negative here? No. What's half of negative 6? Negative 3. Square it. Positive 9, right? So I'm going to do plus 9 here. I'm going to plus 9 here. Okay. But this now is x minus 3 squared, right? equals 24. Once again, this is this breaks down has a perfect square, but I'm not going to ask you to do that. I'm going to take the square root of both sides and get x minus 3 equals plus or minus square root 24. Since this is minus 3, I'm going to plus 3, right? So x equals positive 3 plus or minus square root 24. This is all I'm looking for. Okay? You've been watching the Weiss channel. Da -da 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 -da.